Hey guys, thanks for joining me for Wow Me Wednesday. As I've mentioned in my past recent posts, I recently went to the Amy Porterfield Entrepreneur Experience Conference in San Diego, and it was such an amazing experience, and we heard from world-renowned speakers like Amy Porterfield, obviously, who is one of my favorite experts to follow when it comes to digital marketing. But we also heard from Rachel Hollis, who wrote that book, Girl, Wash Your Face, that you might have heard of, New York Times number one bestseller. We also heard from Stu McLaren and Jasmine Starr. So I wanted to share with you my feedback and my critiques about them as public speakers, since they speak to thousands of people at all their various conferences that they go to and hold themselves, that I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to share with you some takeaways that I got from them as speakers, as public speakers. So here we go with Rachel Hollis. So two things I really liked about her. She came out on stage with music and encouraged us to dance. So when she first came out and we didn't get on our feet and start dancing, she told us to stand up and dance. She started over and wanted us to join her. So she really got the energy going. Now, I know this isn't appropriate for every situation. Oftentimes for professional situations, I mean, we can't ask people to stand up and dance and play rock music or pop music, whatever it is. But in this situation as a motivational speaker, and this was her brand, her style, it definitely was appropriate and got our energy going. Now, I haven't done that before, but I have to admit I actually have danced to stage when I was a speaker at a conference. So they played my favorite song to dance to, Poison by Belle Biv DeVoe. So I danced through the crowd, down the aisle, to the stage. So it catches people's attention, right? And that was a suggestion from one of the coordinators I was working with for the event. So one way to catch people's attention, for sure. The second thing I wanted to point out that I really liked about Rachel Hollis's presentation was the fact that she used an analogy. Examples are always so beneficial when it comes to explaining concepts that you want your audience to, to grasp. So she was trying to help us get over the fear of failure. How many of you are afraid of failing? I definitely am. So she was talking about how, you know how a, when a baby's learning how to walk, she's acting it out and everything, and they're holding on to the sofa or the table and they're all wobbly and then they fall down. When they're learning how to walk and they fall down, we don't say, you suck. We encourage them to keep trying again and again. So this was her story, her example. And so similarly, if we fail at business, if we fail at whatever part of our life, our lives, we don't expect people to say, you suck, or ourselves, we don't tell ourselves, we shouldn't tell ourselves, you suck, but to keep trying again and again, just like a baby learning how to walk. So try to incorporate those kinds of analogies and examples to help people really understand what you're explaining. So I hope those tips were helpful for you guys. If you like what you heard, you want to get more tips, please follow me on social media and check out my website at jessicachangconsulting.com. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.